my dad put that light up there when I was young so I could play at night. And I would be out here at like 11, 30, 12 at night and I would get the neighbors coming at me. What are you doing here? You should be in, you should be in bed. You have school tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, all right. When I come home, I always have a place to play. How fortunate I am to be able to do this for a living and be able to have this kind of environment where I grew up and to play every day if I wanted to. And of course, I give all that to my parents who were able to just give this all to me. And it's just, it's amazing. He, he was an amazing kid when he was growing up. As, as like two, three year old, you, know, you could see his focus and concentration was off the charts even back then. By the time he was four years old, he saw probably 2,000 games by then. So all the fundamental blocks really, really started to shape in his mind as far as the game is being played. He was, he was, uh, he was a special talent. My dad influenced everything that I am right now. But it, like playing soccer, my mentality, it's all for him. It's all because of him. Like against LAFC, when I scored that goal, I'm like, wow, you see that goal? Hey, I bet you couldn't do that when you were playing. He's like, yeah, but you know, there was one part in the game where, you know, you didn't defend the, the player properly, he got around you. I'm like, ah, oh, here we go. Now he's still coaching me. He always wanted me to be the best that I could be, and I need him by my side. Just keep pushing me. I think for me personally, he was another player, but just recently he's also a son. Watching the things that he, you know, he came back from the injury was not, not easy. Well, I mean, the injury was emotional, but I, I really owe a lot to, to the fire organization for how they um, monitor him and how they uh, brought him back. As the days went by, I'm just sitting in my room, just doing nothing. And I was like, you know, maybe I should pick up a hobby. I told my dad, I'm like, yeah, let's just, maybe I should get a longbow. Definitely took my mind away from what has happened to me. And it definitely works on concentration and focus. And I think throughout my recovery, that was the main thing that I had to work on. And to get me through the, the tough days was focus and concentration. Oh, ran an antler. It's definitely tough to earn the respect of guys like Dax McCarty and Bastian Schweinsteiger and Michael DeLue, but I think I've done a fairly good job at earning the respect and I, it shows on the field, you know, and off the field. And it definitely starts with being able to train at such a young age when I'm 16, 17, being able to be so young and to learn from guys like Basti and Dax is just such a great opportunity for me and I, I will continue to learn from them. So, Tyler Adams, big fan of Matt Polster. To me. Come on, Nico. I, I look at him as a player that has nowhere near touched the surface yet. If he, if he continues to listen to players that have been there, people that have been there, he, he can take this game to a, to a completely different level.